Hey, Junction City Today fans, it is me, Craig Bielek. I'm back. Did you miss me? I hope you did. Um, I missed you, that's for sure. And we are glad to be back today with a brand new episode of Junction City Today with my guest, Alex McDonald. I'm on the brand new one. You are the brand new oh, one. Craig, yep. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> I've known Alex for a very long time and he's a great guy. He is here today as a community board member representing Family Promise of Ogden. Now, yep. if you watch the show on any kind of a regular basis, then you know a little bit about Family Promise. But because you're watching today, you're going to get to learn a lot more about Family Promise of Ogden. A whole bunch more. Yeah. A whole bunch more. <laughs> A whole bunch more. Well, first off, Alex, let's let's talk about, I mean, lay it out. What is Family Promise of Ogden? Sure. Well, what that is, is Family Promise helps homeless families, not individuals, but families. And actually, we try and help people uh, remain in homes if they're having a hard time or apartments, you know, whatever housing mm -hmm. would be. So we want to kind of preempt that if that, that helps. We'll work with landlords, gas companies and stuff to try and keep people in their homes. But if they are homeless, uh, we'll find shelter for them. We typically work with four families at a time and they can stay at different congregations uh, around the town. And we have a lot of really great partners that do that. And also North Ogden has been great, letting us use the old fire station as a place to oh. house people until we can find something more stable for them. Yep. So, yep, I've actually been there to the fire station. It's a cool place. Yeah, it, it really yeah. is. Did yeah. you slide down the pole? No, in no. fact, I, that, I, <laughs> the only reason I went was I was like, I'm sliding down that pole. And I don't even remember there being one I don't there. think there is. Dang, man, that's <laughs> so, too bad. Disappointing. Yeah. Well, despite having no pole, it yeah. is a great place. And the family yeah. promises doing good things for people in our community. Well, and it, it goes more than just helping with homes. It, it's also working with uh, getting education, especially things like with financial stability, learning how to budget and things like that. So it's not just finding shelter and then see you later. It's also finding ways to help them be stable and continue on with yeah. a good lifestyle, not again, just finding a roof over their head for a little while. That's really yeah, cool. So. How how does someone how does someone get access to your services? Well, um, go to our website if okay. you know if they have access to the internet. Okay, and we're going to drop that website on the screen right now, oh, so okay. that you don't have That's to remember it. it. Yeah. There it is, but <laughs> so. it is familypromiseofogden.org. Pretty easy to remember. One word. Mm -hmm. Or they can stop in uh, our offices, which are at two fifty six. 24th Street uh, here in Ogden. It's by Crittenden Glass uh -huh. and oh, behind the old library or no, the old post office. The post office. Library. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Right. So uh, they can stop and get more information that way too, you know, in person. So yeah. you know, again, that, we want to help as many families as we can. And we've provided information to probably over 1,400 families. Uh, not all of them have taken advantage of you know the, the services mm -hmm. we have to offer, but we're really, really trying to do a lot of good outreach. And especially, too, Craig, what's important is this is generational. That's why we're focusing on families with adolescent youth, is if we can get those families stabilized, then those youth, those kids, have a chance to grow up, you know, get an education you know, in a stable kind of environment rather than, you know, bouncing around every couple of months. It's tough. That sort of thing. It is. It's it tough. Really is. I grew up in a stable environment and, you know, it's hard. It's hard being a teenager, period. But if you're <laughs> moving all around and doing all those Don't other know things. know where you're going to be sleeping next. Yeah. All that chaos. That's yeah. too bad. In fact, the reason we have you on the show today is Family Promises celebrating its five-year anniversary. Yeah, fifth anniversary next Thursday, the 19th. Um, we're going to have an open house and would like anybody watching today to come and join us oh wow uh, we'll have refreshments and like to show people around and of course talk about what we've been doing in the community and helping sure out. so it's from four to six and again it's at uh, our offices at 256 24th street right behind the old post office behind the old post office exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly well i was reading through your press release right before we came mm -hmm. and five years is impressive i mean that's pretty cool that you guys have been out there helping people for five years but 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 yeah. but the most important part was the numbers that were included in that press release because you've been in business five years but i mean yeah. you you have provided 
decades worth of service to people. Well, fortunately, I have that press release with me. <laughs> right <laughs> and, there. But seriously, no, you're right, because <clears throat> it really works out to, uh, these numbers are just astounding to me, too, so I have to remember. But over 9,500 nights oh. of shelter, which, oh. uh, again, like you were saying, that works out to uh, 26 years. If you, you know, figure out 365 days. <laughs> so, I mean, those are... People. Don't make me do math. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me yeah. do math. Yeah, I'll take later. your word yeah. for it. Um, but, I mean, otherwise those people would be possibly sleeping in a van, uh, sleeping outside in a tent. Um, yeah. And, again, not good situations for children. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. And, and um, I've been to your fundraising breakfasts and things. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that in a moment. Perfect. But I've heard firsthand stories from people that have had experience and been helped by family promise of ogden and they're very moving and you have unless you've actually heard it you have no idea what these what it's like for these people and what you guys have done well and what i really have to focus on too is two things is our director raquel da silva um she is amazing and all she's done and actually she was honored recently with the athena award oh i was there yeah, yeah you were there yeah. so yeah very well deserving raquel has worked for various um shelters in our area for yep. the better part of 20 years and she's done a fantastic job and with her at the helm and then also her being able to get all of these various congregations on board supporting us i mean there, there's no way we could do it without their support mm -hmm. and the volunteers and, and some of the other organizations in the community they're all pitching in. i mean because there's people that have to bring in the meals provide the meals i mean there's all these things craig that it's not just the roof which is, mm -hmm. is very valuable of course right so i'm not downplaying that but i mean there's all these other things that come into and people yeah. with those congregations that are volunteering their time to help take care of these families so it's it's really amazing it really is. yeah it's just yeah you know, i've been there a year and a half and it just really feels good to be a part of that, such an organization and know those people you bet you bet and a lot of people say well there's there's nothing good in the world anymore there's nothing good on television and all those sorts of things and <laughs> well there isn't but <laughs> <laughs> We're the one good thing. Yeah, <laughs> we're the one good thing. This show, but no, a family promise is one of the good things in our yeah, community. Definitely, and 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 we're aware. You know, it, it it we just need people to be aware of it. Yeah, and the fact that you also out there can help. And I, I was hoping we could get to that before we close here, sure. and it sort of describe some of the ways that people can help Family Promise. Because I, I run into people every day. This is amazing. I run into people every day that say, "I want to help. I want to do something." You know, I work for a hospital, and they want to make blankets, or they want to bring over clothing, or something like that. And, mm -hmm. they, and yeah. we're happy to accept that. Unfortunately we do get quite a bit of it and i always kind of say hey there's other sources that need these things you know? <laughs> sure well and we can use uh you know bottled water canned food um you know personal products those mm -hmm. are always you know soap um all those types of things we can always use those for our families and you know those are expensive well they're really oh, yeah. expensive now yeah. but i mean that really adds up but it's such a need for all of these families yeah. Uh, so all of those types of things help. Um, and again, volunteers to help bring in meals. I mean, mm -hmm. that's something, it sounds simple, but it takes time away from your family and we appreciate that and the things that you're doing, but it can just help so many people. It can be such yeah. a nice, nice way to feel good about, like you were saying earlier, I want to do something good because it seems like there's nothing good going on. Yeah. So this is one way you can really help. Yeah. All you folks out there, remember all those soaps and little bottles of shampoo that you stole from all the hotels you've been staying in for the last 10 years? You've got them in a box. It doesn't go bad. Because you're going to use them someday, right? No, no. Get a hold of these guys through their website and donate, or better yet, donate some money to them because they know how to use it and they will put it to good use. Yeah. And if I could, just to let people know, too, we Absolutely. are having uh, our annual rise and shine breakfast yeah and it will be uh at the monarch on mm -hmm. 25th street and that's going to happen uh thursday september the 15th oh it uh, weighs in advance so mark yep. your calendar yep. mark your calendar now <clears throat> and what's nice is to make it as convenient as possible we start at 7 30 and end at nine sharp right so on your way to work grab breakfast come and join us and yeah. we'll be getting out more information on that but uh that's a huge way to yeah. really get out and help help yeah. us as well 
Well, a bunch of you out there have probably not seen the Monarch building, and this would be a great way it's, to kill two birds with one stone. It's beautiful. You know, get out there and see that incredible space, and then also help a charity that is doing good things for good people in your community. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Did we so, cover it all, Mr. Alex? We did. I hope uh, people will come and join us next Thursday, the I 19th, so too. from 4 to 6 at our location, and take a look and see what we do. And again, appreciate, yeah. just, I can't say thank you enough to all of our supporters, and thanks for having us on today. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. My guest, Alex McDonald, <laughs> community member of the Family Promise of Ogden Board, and trying to help people in our community, and um doing a good job. Thank well, you, Alex, thank you, so Craig. much. Thank you. I'm Craig Bielik, your thank host you, of Junction City. Oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the host. You, I'm don't, you don't close. No, wait just a minute. <laughs> you don't close until I've closed. Oh, okay. Well, I am closed, though. I'm ready oh, now. I'm closed. Okay. I'm ready now. You can close. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> <That's a laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, See okay. you again. Take care.